A parent is accusing a West Suburban school district of violating her son's First Amendment rights by cutting him from the basketball team. A lawsuit filed by Aaron Savage alleges her son Brendan was cut from the Hinsdale South High School basketball team in retaliation for his complaint against the team's head coach. Brendan was, a, was an all-conference starter since his sophomore year before being cut this year. After the lawsuit was filed, the school board decided to allow Brendan back on the team but would not guarantee playing time. Meanwhile, the coach, who the family filed a complaint against, is still at the school but no longer coaching the varsity team. Instead, he's coaching the freshman team. The former coach's friend is now the varsity coach. We have reached out to the school district. It said it would not comment on any legal matters at this time. Aaron Savage joins us now. Good morning. Thank you for, morning. for joining us. Let's Thank you. Explain what we're talking about here. This isn't about a, a coach just yelling at a kid that that happens in team sports. Right. I imagine this went above and beyond in your opinion. What, what was going on? So Brennan's junior year as a varsity player, Coach Moretti gave him a hard time on the basketball court, but also in the classroom. Brennan started out the season with an injury, tendinopathy in his knees, so he wasn't able to participate in the, the Thanksgiving tournament, and the coach would say things throughout the school year, like, here's a we're going to watch a video about these Vietnam vets. Notice a lot of them are amputees. Brendan, maybe you'll stop complaining about your knee pain after you watch this video. So he okay. just kind of crossed the line. Yeah. And it wasn't just within, it wasn't just geared, steered at Brendan. There were other kids in the classroom that he would call. He found out a, a girl's parents voted for Trump, so he called her Trumpy. Um, there were a lot of things that were going on that were just not appropriate. And then at basketball. So the school demoted him. They didn't fire him. Correct. Why, why, why do you feel this? this what do you think about the school's response in all this? Uh, disappointed. Uh, we were told that he wouldn't be, you know, because he has tenure, he's not going to be taken out of the classroom. And that's frustrating to me because what other profession are you protected? And my mom was a teacher. There are so many wonderful teachers out there, but this just really didn't, doesn't give teachers, you know, it's just he stands out as somebody that just abuses his power. And uh, what they did then was just swap two coaches on staff, and they were friends. And so we ended up with a coach that started out the fall with the optional workouts where he was, he was kind of continuing the same main uh, mindset with Brendan. So Brendan, right now, what is his status on the team? He's going to, they're playing tonight. They the are. varsity team is playing tonight. Mm -hmm. He's going to be suiting up, I, I'm assuming. And what do you expect to happen or what do you hope happens tonight? Well, he's attended two practices. Okay. So we're not sure if he'll be a, uh, if he'll be playing tonight, we'd like him to. I know he really, all Brennan really wants to do is play basketball. It's, it's what he lives, breathes, it's everything he does is basketball. So this has been incredibly frustrating and shocking that it could get to this point that nobody listened before this and said, this is not, this doesn't, doesn't add up. Um, so tonight it's a big game. Brennan wants to contribute. You know, he wants to help his teammates. He wants to help win the game. And we're hoping that he gets to do that, but we aren't really sure. What, yeah, may, what maybe this would be a different conversation if he wasn't a good player, but he is a good player and they were going to cut to cut him. And now right. that then they weren't playing him. Why does a school that just seems very juvenile on the part of coaches? Why is a school put up with that? Larry, I don't I don't know. Um, What's their answer when you get the school on the phone? They say what? Well, when Brennan didn't make the team, we reached mm -hmm. out to the principal and the athletic director and the coach. We asked to have a meeting with all three of them, and they never responded. And then huh. they finally said, you can talk to the coach. So my husband and I had a conversation with the coach, and it was very clear that Brennan just wasn't, there was no real assessment at the tryout. And once that was made clear to us, we realized, like, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, he talked about 15 leadership qualities he was looking for, and, and my husband said, well, where was Brendan? Where did he fall short? And the coach, oh, it was a cumulative way. He just didn't measure up. Some of the things were like volunteerism in the community, but he couldn't answer what ways that Brennan volunteers. With. And he, Brennan does a lot. He's yeah. very involved. And so um, it was really eye-opening. And, and then from there, we just went to the lawsuit because nobody else was um, taking mm -hmm. notice. We saw the students wearing the T-shirts at one of the game in mm -hmm. support of Brennan. Does Brennan feel like he has the support of his teammates as well? Yes, Brendan's, uh, you know, in the two practices, he's come home very upbeat and positive happy. and um, just, like I said, happy to be playing basketball. He's a team player, always, always loves being part of a team and is, uh, has always made friends over the years. He follows his friends from different tr teams and he's, he celebrates when they get college offers or when they have a good game, even when they're not, you know, he's, he's on an AAU team, so they go to different high schools and things. So we know that that... That school district is in a bit of turmoil, uh, uh, is my, my understanding. Is, uh, so yeah. how does this play into all this going forward? Does the lawsuit stand? Mm -hmm. are, are other people higher up getting involved in this problem to try and solve it? Um, 
Well, we're just waiting to see, you know, they added Brennan to the team, but being added to the team and playing yeah. on the, you know, yeah. having his role be a role player on the team are two di kind of different things. So we're hoping, hopeful that they, um, that we can put all this behind us and that he can just have his senior season and, and do what he's been looking forward to for years. Wow. Aaron, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks we'll very much. We'll keep an eye on the game tonight. Thank you. Hey, Paul. Hi, you guys. Uh, we have rain coming down across Chicagoland here.